As you know, the governor made clear just a few minutes ago that the wave is building. The number of dead is going up. The number of critically injured, uh, critically ill people is going up. That is all to be expected. But the worst of it, the crush of it, is still uh, days, even weeks away. And the governor said that un under almost any scenario, the hospital system in the state of New York will be overwhelmed. And we are already seeing that at one hospital in Queens. They were lined up before dawn outside Elmhurst Hospital this morning, spaced six feet apart and waiting in the dark to be tested for COVID-19. Inside the hospital, a biomedical battlefield, the emergency room is packed with patients. All the patients in this room, all the feet that you see, they all have COVID. And this is only one of the several rooms. In a single 24-hour period, 13 people died here. Still others are in critical condition. These ventilators have just arrived, but they will need more. And so will every other hospital in New York. The concern is that these, all these ventilators that we're told are coming but haven't really started to materialize in large numbers, are they really coming? Will we really get them? I have never seen the increase in volume as fast as it has. Roughly half the confirmed cases of COVID-19 in America are now in the state of New York. An estimated 12% of the latest illnesses have required hospitalization, but the impact is devastating. Supplies are out or running out and time is up. The frustrating thing about all of this is it really just feels like it's too little too late. Like we knew, we knew it was coming. And experts predict that this is only the beginning. You've got to understand that you don't make the timeline. The virus makes the timeline. Well, the governor continues to insist that medical supplies are now widely available throughout the state of New York. If Elmhurst does not have what they need, it is not clear why that would be the case. Uh, there certainly continues to be a critical shortage of ventilators. That, as the number of coronavirus cases in the state of New York, continues to rise.